So uh, in a minute here, I am going to take the Bulldog in this video, and we are gonna strap a 20 watt laser onto it. <laughs> because I don't have a shark, but I've got a French Bulldog with freaking laser beams. I'm the Jake of all, and stay tuned and I'm gonna show you this puppy. Nobody was hurt in the making of this video. What's going on? So this is not a tool with a tool. This is just me with a tool, whatever. So I have the uh, Ortor Laser Master 2. It's a 20 watt laser. Uh, the laser is actually disconnected, so nobody is going to be hurt. Uh, it's just showing it off. So I got this. They sent this out to me to play with, and I've been wanting to do some, well, I'll show you what I've wanted to do. But I've been wanting to play with lasers for a while. I wanted to etch some tools. I wanted to do some other stuff. And when they reached out to me, I was like, heck yeah, because I actually want to try one of these out. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'm doing with it, but I'm also going to show you sort of what you get, right? So let's take a look here at this, right? So this is the laser assembled, right? It's, uh, we'll go over the sizes, we'll go over all that stuff, but this is a very simple setup. It is this frame that you can move around. I bolted mine down because when I'm doing some smaller items and this uh, gyrates around, it shakes it loose. Uh, I'm gonna stop this in a minute and I'll show you what else I've done. But in the package, it's actually pretty simple. You get this basic wiring, you get this QR code, and when you get the QR code, it takes you to this website. On the website, right, here's all the specs. This one's the 20 watt laser, so it's basically a 5,000 to 5,500. 5, it's 400 by 430, so you can see it goes a little bit bigger in one direction. It shows you where you get drivers, download software. Software, I have actually, I've chosen to use Lightburn. Uh, Lightburn's got some great videos out there on their website on how to use it. Uh, it's only like 50 bucks or something like that. So it's really not bad along with the price of the laser. It's not spending too much. But one of the things that I've wanted to use it for is to do business cards. And I also wanted to test etching some parts. So let me show you what you get. So of course I put everything in a pack out. So they give you a little brush. This is the main meat and potatoes, what you need. This is your little height gauge block. And this allows you to set it under the laser to set your focus. Okay, and let me show you what I did here. So this is my box, uh, my block setup. This is a gauge here. And then this, when I wanna, so you always, I should back up, you always wanna make sure that your focal length is set with this. And if you're too far down, you can't. So I built this little right angle and this block and then I etched in it this outline of the cards. So when I wanna etch a card, I can bring it over here, put it onto that point and feel it click and then align the top edge. Now I do tape it down by just folding it over. It also comes with these sweet fashionable glasses so you can be in Blade Runner. And then I went ahead and, uh, well, that's right. It also comes with some test business cards I haven't used those, but I did buy these painted aluminum because it does etch aluminum pretty well. And then I also bought more of the wood ones to make cards. Uh, other things, so the other things that I wanted to test it out with is this. This is a Pet G bit holder that we sell, but I wanted to Basically, instead of having to customize my G-code to print onto it, I figured I could have a couple laser programs. And if I wanted to do this, I can etch this on here in seconds. And it comes out, it looks good, it smells funny. Uh, so I tested a couple different ideas on there. I also, as you can see, tested a couple on here. And it works really well on everything other than white and clear. If you want to do clear, you have to put paint, uh, painter's tape down or leave the paper on it. Uh, what else? So, uh, as I was saying, I screwed this down because when I do a detailed design like this, all the small movements can cause this whole unit to shake. So I actually, in where the belts don't run, drilled some holes and ran screws into this board. So this whole thing is locked down tight. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it here and plug the laser back in. Reset it, and then I'm gonna tell in the software. 
So it's going to home. Cool thing you can do in light burn is you can set a test spot where you can move your laser around. So if you wanted to see where your piece is going to be on your sheet, so show over here. So I can click this little box here, set laser position, and then I can come over here and say, boom. So now say, for example, I wanted to know that that was where I needed it to be, which it is because I built that block. As I said, I can put this on here to know that I'm lined up with my piece in my corner because this is always where I work off of. So I'll then come over here, right? I want to make sure that my focal length is set. It's good. And uh, what we need to do is we need to put these on the camera person. And real quick, we're gonna make it smell good in the house. And as you can see, it's just gonna print JOA and 716. It's not printing, it's laser. And it's really just burning a piece of paper because I'm just showing it off. I'll also insert some clips of me etching some of the cards uh, for your enjoyment. And there it is. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, so in those video clips, I was making this guy. So this is one of my finished cards. Uh, what I did do, and this isn't a fault of the laser, is I slowed down the burn of certain things, right? Because this is aluminum and it burns a lot easier. This is stainless or sort of, this is like a hardened steel blade. And as you can see, you can etch the steel. And this is when you sort of burn the steel. And what I did not want to do is burn the lettering. So I slowed this down. And here, I wanted to get rid of all of the paint, so that I went a little slower as well. Uh, but I screwed that machine, I screwed the laser down because these letters in here and in here would get very blurry from the whole unit shaking because the whole table was moving. So finished card, as you saw in the video, this is what I was etching. So this is a QR code for the YouTube. This is a QR code for the Instagram. I also, you saw that, did these little coasters, which I just messed around. So it will not etch the stone, but it has no problem on the wood. It has no problem on the painted aluminum. The hardened steel, not a problem. You can see the wood, it does well. And I did all of these in light burn. So 20 watt laser, uh, that's the input power. Uh, I guess, what is it, megawatts or milliwatts or whatever, 5,000 to 5,500. You can see the specs here on the screen. Uh, it's pretty convenient. You can go to this site. You can get everything you need from right here. There's links to a YouTube channel where they put it together. It's assembly is not hard at all. It takes five or 10 minutes, uh, depending on how good you are. And yeah, so I, uh, I enjoy it. And uh, full disclosure, they sent this to me, as I said earlier. Uh, I, as I was going to say, uh, what it won't do... Uh, I've noticed it won't do stainless steel. I have tried to etch some tile, well, uh, marble, and it wouldn't do that. Uh, you can slow it down and you can get it to etch some stuff. Uh, some steel, as I was saying on this razor blade, you can see they etch it, but I etched the JOA and I etched the zero right onto that. Uh, but I tried etching some uh, pliers and some screwdrivers and on the plastic of the screwdriver, it obviously did fine. But on the steel of the screwdriver, uh, it was like a cobalt or something like that. It wouldn't etch. 
Uh, and that's mainly just because it's a 20 watt laser. But for stuff like business cards, it does a great job. And speaking of business cards, uh, if you guys want to comment on this video, if you like it, comment that you'd like a business card and that you're in the United States. And I will pick a winner to make them an aluminum or wood business card as long as they send me a logo and the information they wanted on it. I can't do insanely complex stuff, but as you can see, I can do something like that and I can do something like that. So the Ortor 20 watt Laser Master 2 definitely would win my seal of approval. You can have a lot of fun. You can sit around and do your coasters. I got some cool stuff. And if you guys go to like the dollar store or your $5 rack at Target, so I'm going to do some stuff on this little shot glass flight pad or it's a paddle. You know, you could spank somebody with it. You could be like, ow, ow lot and keep going, daddy. But yeah, so wood, it's not going to have a problem with at all. I've done a ton of different wood things. You can see I even did it on this. Uh, I will say I wouldn't recommend putting it on wood if you're not going to pay attention to it, but you really shouldn't be operating the laser and walking away from it. So since I'm paying attention to it, I know what I'm doing with it. I don't walk away. That's the way I run mine because then I can also use the wood as a practice. You see, I put some items on the sheet. Uh, it's plywood, it does a great job on. You can see it does a really good job. Uh, that's where I was testing it. This stuff is out of focal length, but it still does a really good job. Uh, so yeah, business cards, uh, crafts. Uh, we etched notebooks for our daughters, did a bunch of My Hero Academia, Sugar Rocky stuff. I don't know what the heck any of that is but we were able to etch on the front of their folders because the paper is painted for their notebooks and it creates a really cool pattern. So it's definitely a must for like crafts, but for something like the business cards, or if you want to personalize your 3D printed stuff, the way I was able to label them, I can label this so much quicker than I could 3D print it. <coughs> so if I wanted to label stuff for a customer and they wanted sizes on here, I could easily knock that out in a much quicker time all I have to do is set up so that I can put the part where I need it and I'm good to go. So I would recommend it. I will put a link below to where you can get it in a couple of spots. And if you have questions about this, comment below. Uh, like I said, it's not a normal tool with a tool. Uh, I like this. I really do like it. I, it's very simple to use. And if you pay for the software uh, from Lightburn, you can do a ton of powerful stuff with it. So. I have a feeling I'm gonna be customizing stuff for kids and things like that, and I hope to customize one of you lucky winners a business card. So comment below where you're from, USA only, uh, and what you would want to use the laser for. So this is the Ortor Laser Master 2. I'm the Jacob All. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, comment below. Let me know what you would wanna do with this, and one of you in the US can win a business card that I will laser etch for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.